Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. And in this video, we are going to see that how we can set up Webhook inside Wati. So Webhooks are essential for real-time communication between different platforms, allowing data to be sent automatically whenever a specific event occurs. And in the context of Wati, which is a popular WhatsApp API provider, setting up Webhook enables businesses to instantly capture and act on the incoming messages, delivery reports, or other events. So by setting up a webhook inside Wati, I can automate tasks such as sending notification, update, updating CRM systems or triggering workflows in other applications as soon as a WhatsApp message is received. So this automation is crucial for businesses that rely on timely and accurate communication, helping them to respond quickly to customer inquiries, track message status and maintain an efficient workflow. So in this video, I will guide you through the process of setting up a webhook inside Wati and ensuring that businesses can take full advantages of real-time integration and automation. So as we know, Wati is a popular WhatsApp API provider. And now by setting up a webhook inside Wati, what we can do is that as we are going to receive a response or a reply or any message from our customer on WhatsApp, then automatically we can capture that message. And now as we are going to receive that message on WhatsApp, then automatically it can trigger our workflow. So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can set up this webhook inside Wati and we are going to do this with the help of Pabli Connect. So for using Pabli Connect, I need to open a new tab and search for pabli.com slash connect in my browser. And this will take us to this landing page of Pabli Connect. Now here in this landing page, we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If we don't have any account with Pabli Connect, then we can just click on the sign up for free button. And this will take only two minutes of our time and we will get 100 tasks free every month. Or if we already have an account, we can just sign in and we will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I just need to click on this access now button under Pabli Connect. And it will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now here in the dash, we need to first create a new workflow. And for that, I'm going to click here on this create workflow button. Now here I need to give a name to my workflow and I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to how to set up webhook inside Wati. Now here, what I need to do is I need to click on create. And this will take us to this most important window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. And Trigger says when this happens, Action says do this. So Trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and Action is just going to follow that. So here in our workflow, what we need to do is we need to connect Wati with Pabli Connect by using Babo. So here for that, what I need to do is I need to first set up my Trigger and in my Trigger, I'm going to use Wati. And after choosing Wati, I'm going to set up Webhook inside Wati so that I can connect Wati with Pabli Connect. Now here in my trigger application, I'm going to search for Wati. And now I'm going to select Wati. And now I need to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab and configure webhooks will be my trigger event. So I'm going to select this. Now after setting up my webhook inside Wati, it is going to get triggered on incoming messages that I'm going to receive on WhatsApp. So here what I need to do is I need to set a webhook inside Wati. And for that, I need to use this webhook URL. So this webhook URL is going to work as a bridge between Wati and Pabli Connect. And for connecting these two applications, I need to follow all these instructions. And here what I need to do is I need to first log into my Wati account and then I need to navigate to my Wati dashboard where I need to go to webhooks. And after getting to webhooks, I need to add a new webhook by clicking on add webhook button. And as I'm going to add a new webhook, I need to give my webhook URL and I need to paste that under URL feed. So after pasting this webhook URL under URL field, I need to first enable my status. And as I'm going to follow these instructions, then I'm going to successfully set up webhook inside Wati. And as I'm going to receive an incoming message on WhatsApp, then automatically I'm going to get that. And I'm going to capture that response here in Pabli Connect. So for setting up my webhook, I'm going to first copy this webhook URL. Now I need to take you to my Wati account. And here in Wati, I need to go to webhooks. Now in webhooks, what I need to do is I need to add a new webhook. So I'm going to click on add webhook button. And here I have these two options of URL, status and events. So first I'm going to paste my URL and in this I'm going to paste my webhook URL that I have copied from Public Connect. So I'm going to paste that here. And now I need to enable my status. So I'm going to open this tab 
and I'm going to select this option of enable. Now here I have this tab of events and I can open this tab and here I can select the event that I want to add as a trigger on my webhook. So here I want that as I'm going to receive a message, then automatically I want that received message response in Pabli Connect. So I'm going to select this message received as my events. So I'm going to select this and here in this tab of events, you can add multiple events too. So here you can add all the particular events that you want to add in your webhook. And here I have added this event of message received. Now what I need to do is I need to click on save. And here we can see I have received this notification of success. So this means that I have successfully added my webhook. And now what is going to happen is that as I have set up my webhook inside Wati, and now as I'm going to receive a new message on WhatsApp, then automatically I can capture the response of that received message and I can get that response in Pabli Connect. So for this, let me take you to Pabli Connect. And here in Pabli Connect, we can see it is waiting for webhook response. And before getting this webhook response, we have these two nodes. So here in node one, it says, why do supports webhook that can alert you on an incoming message via callback URL and webhook waits for a message on your WhatsApp number. When a message is received, a callback happens on your webhook URL with the response payload. So here Wadi supports webhook to send an incoming message response to Pabli Connect. And as soon as I'm going to receive an incoming message, then automatically a callback will be happen inside my webhook URL and it is going to send that response to Pabli Connect. Also here I have this note that says other functionalities like alert on outgoing messages, status on outgoing messages are not currently available through Wadi CRM plan. The complete official WhatsApp API slash webhook access is available through API gateway plan. So if you want to use different events and if you want to get the status of delivered message or read messages, so those other functionalities are not available inside Varti CRM plan. For that, you need to buy other API gateway plan and you can get that functionalities too. Now here it is waiting for webhook response. So for getting this webhook response, I need to send a message on WhatsApp or I need to reply to a message that I have received through Varti. So I'm going to go back to WhatsApp and here I have received this message through Varti. And now as my customer is going to reply to this message, then automatically I can capture the response of that incoming message in Pabli Connect. So here I'm going to send a message and I'm going to send a simple message of hello. So I'm going to send this message and here we can see I've sent this incoming message. And as I've sent this message, what should happen is that automatically the response of this message should be captured in Pabli Connect. Now here in Pabli Connect, we can see I have received this message and in this message I have this text that I've sent as a reply or I've received as an incoming message through WhatsApp. So here I have the text of hello that I've sent as a message and I have my status string that is called send. Also in this, I have my sender name and I have my event type that is message. So here we can see as I've received an incoming message on WhatsApp or my customer has replied to me, then automatically I've captured the response of that message here in Pabli Connect by setting up this webhook inside Wati. Now here by setting up this webhook inside Wati, what is going to happen is that as I'm going to receive incoming messages on WhatsApp, then automatically I'm going to capture all those incoming messages and I'm going to get the response of those messages here in Pabli Connect. So here like this, by following all the steps that I've shown you in this video, you can also set up webhook inside Wati and you can capture the response of the incoming messages from Wati. So here we have learned how to set up webhook inside Wati. And by following all these steps, you can also set up webhook inside Wati. So if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this by using Pabli Connect. So if you want to reach out to us, then email us at support at the rate pabli.com. And if you have any queries, then you can write us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any issue with the pricing, then you can visit this link. And if you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.